So, a uh, lot of big news the last couple of weeks. Um, Ex-BBC presenter uh, Alex Belfield is now a convicted stalker. Was taken to court, found guilty of four cases of stalking, found not guilty of four cases. And, and his supporters are kind of treating that like a no-score draw. Well, you get four, but he got let off on four. Um, and only two of them were simple stalking. Simple stalking is st still stalking. Um, and I have been fascinated with this case because for the past 10 years, on and off, mainly off for the last couple of years, I have um, had a lot of contact with Alex Belfield. Now, I'm going to choose my language carefully, right? I've had a lot of um, unwanted contact from uh, Alex Belfield. A lot of it was very unpleasant. Um, and uh, it made me very, very unhappy. So, and I, do you know what? I'm getting very anxious even talking about it. And this is the first time in years and years and years that um, I've been able to talk uh, in public about him because I, I, I was scared. I was scared. I would get, I've had over the years hundreds of emails. I've kept them all. Hundreds of emails. Quite often um, the subject heading without prejudice. And it was threatening legal action. I would often get emails from uh, other names, quite often women, female names. And there was just a tone in them. And after a couple of emails, I go, Alex, is this you? No. Alex, I'm sure it's you. And, and a few times he will come back going, all right, yeah, it was me. It was me. Um, and he scared me. I was scared of him. And I'm not proud as a 49-year-old guy to say that. I was scared of him. Well, I posted, um, and he, he, he was still kind of taking the piss a little bit recently. Um, I'm trying to find the, the, the tweet um, uh, he, he, he did a tweet when I got on Jack FM. Um, I'm just trying to find it. Um, about me being bisexual. Can't find it. Anyway, what I will say to anybody who is confused, ashamed, unsure, frightened of your own sexuality, whatever you are is whatever you are. And it's great. Okay, it took me a long time to come to terms um, to accept that I was bisexual. A lot of shame around my behaviour, self-loathing, disgust. I still struggle with it. But whatever you are is right. Okay, just putting that to anyone out there who's confused or ashamed. So we'll look at a little bit of it now. I've put um, a, a fundraiser. It's my eldest idea, a twelve-year-old boy, is to put a fundraiser. Um, he said, well, you've got so many people watching it. Why don't you have a link where people can donate to charity? So I've done that. It's LGBTQ plus crisis intervention. It's a thing called the Trevor Project. It's in America and it helps prevent suicide amongst young um, LGBTQ plus. OK, fifty six dollars been raised. That's great. If you can donate a quid, then do. If you can't, you don't have to. So let's have a quick look at some of the comments, first of all. Let's go to the news. Now, I did delete a lot of the comments. A lot of the comments that there was one person spamming. Um, must have been a hundred comments, and I'm 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 loath to say the name of that they were using. I won't say the name because it's so offensive, it's so shocking. It was a joke about Sarah Everard, the name that was being used. I don't I don't know if it was Alex. I'm not suggesting that for a second, but it's certainly one of his followers thought a joke about Sarah Everard was an appropriate name to use to comment on YouTube videos. So I've blocked those. I've not looked at these for a couple of days. So should we have a little look at some of the comments? Uh, two, me two egomaniacs is all I heard. Lane, I'm a stalker. There's nothing you can do about it. Um, you've got a stalker who by his own admission is fascinated by you. That's a real issue. And the fact it's Elfield makes it dangerous. I unsubbed Alex and I subbed Ian. So there were a, few, a handful in support of him. And I, I, I just got rid of those. I don't want those. There were a significant number of people who posted saying, well, I used to be 
supporter of Alex until he started doing this, until he got too nasty, until he started asking for money. And then we stopped. Um, so you kept calling him Andy, even though you knew it was Alex, but years later you confirm it is Alex after you heard about a court case. Sounds like you're just trying to cash in like so many other YouTubers by using his name in the title. During lockdown, um, Alex was using my name a few times in his videos. He, he had a go at me for going on to Cameo. Be careful, though. There might be a case for him to counter sue it if it really wasn't him. If this counts for stalking, then we as a country are really in trouble. And to kick someone when they are down doesn't put you in a good light either. In a roundabout way, I agree with Alex Belfield. I can't believe I'm saying this. If the talk radio host is defying himself as depression and living his life like this, he truly needs help. I've been getting help. I've been getting help with therapy, with uh, medication, with 12-step um, programs. I've had uh, myself depression but wouldn't defend myself this way and I most definitely don't live this way. But I fight... If I but I fight depression with this sort of attitude. Is my life really as bad as I think? The clear answer is no. That's not that works for you. What's mine? That's great. That's not a great way to deal with depression. That caller is most definitely not Alex Belfield. Listen carefully to the intonation, breath, and linguistics. Even the accent is the same. Even the accent is different. Excuse me. Um, interesting call at the start, demonstrating you can never get a proper conversation. Um, uh, from these ego-driven broadcasters who will patronise and simply cut off anybody who disagrees with them. Uh, used to like Alex Belfield, but gone off him now. Used to be a presenter and taunts other people dangerous. Can I just say, I'm feeling very uncomfortable even talking about this here. Feeling very, very uncomfortable. Ten years. And one day I will tell you the full story. I've got all the paperwork to back it up. So one day I will tell you the full story. It's incredible. Doesn't sound like him. Doesn't sound like him one but. Uh, where is the evidence of Alex? Doesn't sound anything like him. The, here we go. This sat Bert Plank. This sounds like a MI5 special. Or in common parlance, the renowned British secret police. A greater bunch of duplicitous rogues you will not find. Harold Cartwright, literally, is everything fucking literally? That is not Belfield. It doesn't sound remotely like Belfield. The posts on here simply prove how gullible some of the public are. Let's be honest here, this video is 1 billion percent not Alec Belfield and should be removed. Should we watch a little bit of the video? Just a little bit. I remember this night very, very well. So this is 2016. It's my first time I've watched this. Oh, I think we're all right. Andy! Hi, Ian. How are you doing? Are you bubbling? No, I'm confused. That's, that's a great intro into a call. You bubbling? No, I'm confused. Go on. I, I've tuned in four times to you since you've been on this radio station, and I've heard you before, and every single time I've heard you distressed, confused, upset, angry, bitter. You've got to remember, yeah, I was some of those things some of the time. I, you know, I, I, I've always said this. My radio show is a show. My radio show is a show. I want to put on a show. I want you, the listener, to feel something. I don't want you as a listener to go, eh. You know, there are some great TV presenters and radio presenters. You watch them and you come away and go, eh. I want you to feel something. Anger, sadness, hatred, frustration. I want you to feel something. Rowing. Well, hang on, hang on, where's, hang on a minute. Where's, hang on a minute. Where's the, where's the bitterness tonight? Well, I just literally tuned in five minutes ago, oh, and right. I hear you blocking people and getting upset with people. I can't understand why you do this job. If if it gets to you so much, you're the. I've never heard anybody so affected by celebrity than yourself. Well, hang on a minute. I'm not affected by celebrity. This was before the jungle as well. This was before the jungle. You've heard literally, you've heard five minutes of a three-hour show and you've only tuned in four times. So you... You you, you, have... you seem to think every Andy? listener's going to listen on your every word for three no, hours. No, no, I don't, Andy, but you seem to think that you, you can sum up my entire character 
in four five-minute chunks. I don't think everyone's going to listen for three hours. I know how radio works. Of course they don't listen for three hours. Some of you sad cases listen for three hours, right? <laughs> Some so people you'll do. you'll agree with me then that me tuning in randomly is the only perception I'm going to have of no, you. No, no, I don't. I, 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 don't I, think, I don't think that you can, you can um, reach the conclusions that you have reached only uh, and consider it to be a fact only from those short things but andy you let keep me, andy, I'm no, no, a fan and I'm, no, I'm, you're no. I'm actually a fan we get a lot of emails that were, were what you would call a shit sandwich i'm a, and the shit sandwiches i'm a real fan and i really enjoy the show and i think you're great here comes the shit but i think you do this wrong quite often they were slagging Catherine off and then at the end but i really do enjoy your show it's called a shit sandwich Andy, Andy, help, Andy, 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 I don't, so Andy, 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 I don't need your help. The show is not for you, mate. It doesn't work for you. That's fine. No, it is for me. No, it's I not. Well, it's you, not it for you. I'm trying to help you. I can't I don't, Andy, why you would let Andy, anybody, some idiot on Andy, Twitter, affect you. I don't it, need, I don't want your help. I don't want your help. I don't want you it. You're doing to me what you do to no, everyone, which no, is I'm not. I don't want to get a reaction where you get people to. Literally not trying to get a reaction there. Literally not trying to get a reaction. Telling I'm not trying to get. I'm not trying to get a reaction. Why don't you just Andy, do a show and ignore them? Andy, Andy, I don't want your help. Thank you for the offer your of voice. it. You do need help. <laughs> we'll stop there because I'm starting to feel a little bit uncomfortable. If. Um, you are being bullied or stalked in any way, and I know how difficult it can be to ask for help, but really do consider asking for help. Um, it can be very lonely. It can be very tough. What's great about this story is it's shown that people weren't alone, and I suspect that list of names is going to grow and grow and grow. If you've enjoyed this video, please consider clicking like and subscribe on uh, YouTube, and if you want to support the work that I do, please head over to www.patreon.com slash Ian and Catherine. I feel my breath getting short. P-A-T-R-E-O-N dot com slash I-A-I-N and Catherine with a K. Patreon.com slash Ian and Catherine. I'll put a link in the chat. Thank you very much for watching. Stay safe and um, we'll speak soon. Thank you. <laughs>